Welcome back. You may have noticed that our code is uh, getting bigger and bigger and there are so many files right now and the more files we have the difficult it is going to be whenever we want to uh, maintain our uh, website or project and whenever we want to change something or edit something we will have to edit that thing in many 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 files and I'm gonna give you an example and I'm gonna also show you a solution for this so for example the header exists in all pages pretty much in every single page we have also the footer exists in every single page we have for example if you go to the if you go to the let's say to the cart you'll find that we have the header and we have the footer if you go to the login page if you go here to login.php you will find that we have header and footer if you go to register register.php you will find we have the header and footer and uh, this actually is a problem why is it a problem because suppose that you want to edit something in the footer or in the header you would have to edit that thing in every single page because in every single page we have the header and the footer and this is a bad practice and to fix this problem we need to add only one single file for the header and one single file for the footer and then we import them in every single page and then whenever we want to edit the header the, head, the header or the, the footer we can edit uh, that specific file and it will be edited automatically in all files let me show you uh, let me show you what what i mean and let me explain further so that you understand so here if you open up the index you will find that we have here at the top we have obviously the header and in, uh, at the bottom we have the footer we have this footer similarly in the login page we have at the top we have the header as you can see this header the navigation bar and we also have the footer which is the which is the footer and this this process uh, is is these two uh, uh, sections available in all uh, files and this is a bad practice we need to uh, create a, a single files and uh, include these two sections in these single files and then we can import them in all these files let me show you what, what I'm what I'm gonna do and they will understand uh, uh, how effective what I'm gonna do is so let me create a new folder here um, and I'm gonna name it layouts layouts and then inside that layouts I'm gonna create two files I'm gonna create a file called header.php and I'm going to create a, a new file inside that layout called footer.php and in the header what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy the I'm going to copy the uh, the code from the index.php I'm going to copy the the beginning of the file all the way to the end of the navigation bar I'm going to copy all of this all the way to the end of the na navigation bar and then I'm going to remove it I'm going to remove it and then I'm going to paste it in the header.php and I'm going to go back to the index and then I'm going to scroll until the end of the file and then I'm going to copy the footer as well as the script as well as the body and the as well as the body and the HTML I'm going to copy these and then I'm going to remove them from the index and then I'm going to paste them in the footer.php and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click now on file and then save all now if I go to the main page let me go to the main page and you will find that my file my my uh, my website has been ruined as you can see the design now is is has been ruined as you can see the design is now terrible why because I removed the header and the footer but don't worry what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to head on over to the index and at the top of the index what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna say PHP and then I'm gonna say include and what I'm gonna include is that I'm gonna include layouts layouts for slash header dot PHP dot PHP and then at the bottom what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna say here P 
PHP and then I'm gonna say include include and then I'm gonna say layouts layouts or slash footer dot PHP and let me now save and let me head on over to the browser and show you how outstanding this is let me now refresh and show you what's gonna happen if I refresh so if I refresh guess what the design is back boom the design is back and we have the design back and everything is fine right now and as you can see what I did is that I included the footer in a single file and the header in a, in a separate file in a single and separate file and then I imported them into the index now we need to repeat the same exact process in all pages and uh, you might be again you might be wondering why would we do this why am I doing this the reason is because now if you edit something in the header for example if you edit the if you want to edit the header if you if you want to edit the navigation bar it will be edited in all pages without the need of going through every single file without the need of going through each single file and changing the header or changing the navigation bar imagine how difficult it would be if you had to change something in the navigation bar and you your code was uh, and your your navigation bar exists uh, uh, the the code exists in every single file you would have to go through every single file and edit that thing in every single file and this is going to take it's just going to take forever but if you if you ha if you just uh, if you follow this design pattern you will never have to go through each single file instead you just need to edit that thing in the header and it will be edited automatically in the in all pages let me now go through each single page and change and repeat the process so in the account let me go to the account and in the account at the top what we want to do is that we want to remove this part and you have to be very very careful while you are removing by the way don't remove the PHP code this PHP code is uh, belongs the PHP logic belongs to every single to, to each single page and shouldn't be removed what we are removing is that we are removing the HTML code the header the navigation bar this part as well as the navigation bar and then what we are doing instead is that we are importing I'm importing here using the include uh, function and then here I'm including I'm saying layouts layouts or slash header dot PHP and uh, in the footer we we need to repeat the same we need to remove the footer here we need to remove the footer just the footer as well as the script and the closing tag of the HTML and the body and then here you need to say include layouts footer dot PHP and you need to repeat the same uh, process for all for for, for, uh, for every single page so let me do this uh, quickly let me go to the cart and then again we need we need to leave the PHP code don't remove the PHP code be careful so here I'm gonna remove the this part and then I'm gonna remove the navigation bar this navigation bar and instead I'm gonna paste the this this line of code include layouts header that PHP and at the bottom I'm gonna remove the fo footer as well as the uh, script uh, JavaScript and the the body and the HTML and then I'm, I'm saying here layouts footer dot PHP we need to do the same to all these pages so let me do all of this and uh, consider this your homework you need to do all of this I'm gonna try to um, go a little faster because we don't want to waste a lot of time on this and we have the login we did I think we did this we didn't do this to the login so, so let me say here footer and then at the top we just need to remove this part as well as the navigation bar and then we need to say include layouts header.php with the order uh, details we need to do the same at the bottom 